Global Ethics Corner from the Carnegie Council. Today's Global Ethics Corner is part of the Carnegie Council's Sustainability Month, supported by Hewlett Packard and Booz and Company. Post a comment at carnegiecouncil.org. Half the world now lives in cities and they're growing. Can this evolution of human infrastructure improve our social and ecological prospects? Urban life can be more energy efficient than suburban or rural life, but it depends on long supply chains. After all, globalization and megacities go together. Global boomtowns generate amazing innovations, but they can also accelerate inequality. Poorer residents may never leave for a taste of country air, let alone baguettes in Paris. Emerging economies have built entirely new cities designed for sustainability. Established powers have the historical advantage of wealth, yet must retrofit aging infrastructure to remain competitive. Urban migration also implies a shift of political power. Cities are shaped by one another almost as much as by central governments, and jurisdictional friction is inevitable. Will the rise of megacities in Asia and the Middle East guarantee cosmopolitan tolerance and rights? Governed by economic might alone, mass urbanization could lead to the worst of times. Slums cleared for high-rise development, private armies guarding elite compounds, concentrated megapopulations falling victim to natural disasters. But governed with an eye to improving health, livability, and education, global cities suggest our best, most sustainable times are ahead. What do you think? Are we headed for the best or worst of times? Are megacities an opportunity or a threat? This is Julia Taylor Kennedy from the Carnegie Council. Made possible by the Carnegie Council for Ethics and International Affairs. Post a comment at www.carnegiecouncil.org.